it's Michael and we're going to take a look at the check through security brief. These are the latest in our series of check through checkpoint friendly bags that allow you to run your bag through airport security screening without having to take out your laptop. Scuba Design was one of the first companies to work in close collaboration with the TSA to develop the standards for this kind of bag and the advantages of it are that you can get through security faster, your laptop stays protected, and you don't wind up being one of the statistics of the tens of thousands of people who lose laptops or have them stolen at airport security every year. So it's a great bag for the serious road warrior or frequent traveler. This bag comes in two different sizes, the standard and the large. The standard will hold just about 90% of the laptops that people are carrying these days, all of the 15 inch range screens, uh, all of the Ultrabooks and pretty much everything made by Mac including the 17 inch PowerBook and the large version is designed for those people who still for some reason insist on carrying a full size desktop replacement 17 inch monster but other than that the bags are identical in form, function, pockets, etc. So I'm going to use the standard which is what I carry to show uh, as many of the features and pockets uh, that I can. I'm told that I take too long in my demos, so I'm going to try and go through this one a little bit faster, but should still give you the flavor of everything this bag has to offer. The first enhancement that we made to this series is change the material to our micro ballistic nylon, which is a beautiful luggage grade material. It's got a great feel to it, great water repellency, stain resistant, durable and heavy duty, but incredibly lightweight. We've actually shaved 10% off the weight of these bags uh, in the change to the micro ballistic material. Uh, the other change is that we have added uh, very dimensional and tactile zipper pulls which aside from looking nice are very easy to use with gloves on, easy to reach and grab uh, when the bag is behind you you're not looking at it. And we've also added a very tactile uh, Hypalon carrying grip uh, that has a really nice feel and uh, cushiness to it when you're running through the airport. Uh, so those are two of the enhancements that we've made uh, in this series of bags. The biggest that we've made is that we've added our patented super bungee shoulder strap which we believe to be the most comfortable shoulder strap that you'll find anywhere and it's designed with a coil of bungee material that's independently attached to both ends of the strap so that when weight is applied it gives and takes much like a shock absorber it has a grippy padded base and a very wide contoured shape so that it stays on your shoulder and doesn't slip off when you're running through the airport. So the Super Bungee is just an incredible and much requested addition to this series of bags. And now looking at the bag itself and from working from the outside in, we've got an accessible front pocket with just a quick Velcro closure that's great for your boarding pass or other small items you take out of security. Then we've got the accessory compartment which has loads of pockets. In fact, this bag has more than 20 pockets altogether. And I'm just gonna start taking, this is all my own stuff, and I'm just gonna start taking it out so you can get a sense of everything that's in here from power adapters uh, to digital cameras, iPod, earbuds, uh, pens, pencils, USB drive, Wi-Fi finder, business cards, airplane tickets. As you can see, there's a passport pocket. I have sticky notes in there instead. Uh, but one of the really earbuds. One of the really special things about uh, this new series of bags is that if I can get you to see that the accessory pockets down here and also inside the bag are actually padded. Something you won't find, uh, as far as I know, in any other bag like this on the market. And the reason we did that is because nowadays your portable electronics, your camera, phone, etc., are probably as valuable as the laptop you have in the bag. And to have it in just your typical unpadded accessory pocket. Uh, really is uh, no longer suitable for the quality and cost of the small items that we carry around. Then working back into the main compartment, we've got a pretty enormous main section here with more padded pockets and again I'm just going to race through card readers and cards and external hard drives, loads of magazines and newspapers, power adapters and all the rest and there's a bunch of still empty mesh pockets and other pockets in here. And then we've got a padded divider wall which has its own pockets on it and behind that we've got files, pads and room for a lot more than what I have in here. And that padded divider wall is removable so that when you take that out you've got an enormous full open main compartment that's big enough to hold giant binders, catalogs, even a change of clothes for an overnight trip. And then most importantly we have the laptop compartment and you'll see on the back we've got a trolley strap 
that lets you slide the bag over your rolling luggage handle to keep it nice and safe as you zoom through the airport. The laptop is in its own dedicated and padded compartment separate from everything else in the bag. I happen to have a very small Lenovo portable, so I've got the laptop compartment adjusted uh, to hold just my computer very nicely and snugly with padding all around it. But if you have a larger computer, like a full size 15 inch, uh, you can move, remove these bars or adjust them to suit your needs so that the laptop fits in perfectly. You just slide it in the back compartment, zip it up, and it's fully protected. Then when you get to airport security, this middle zipper is what allows you to open the bag like a book and run it through the security belt with the laptop inside. This window is part of our patent pending design and that's there just to let the TSA officer know that you have that compartment properly packed for inspection so that they don't, uh, they're unlikely to stop you for a secondary inspection. And then you put this right on the belt, send it through the x-ray machine. When you get to the other end, grab your bag, fold it up and go. You don't even have to zip it. It's perfectly secure without being zipped. And when you get to the gate, you can close it back up if you like and you're off and running.